This is a story about Apple, but not the Apple you think you know. We all recognize the sleek hardware, the iconic logo, and the yearly iPhone drop. But what most people don't realize is the behind the scene. Apple has been quietly building one of the most powerful and privacy conscious AI ecosystem in the whole world. It's not just about the flashy features. It's about the machine learning running on your wrist, on your photos, and inside your keyboard. And it's about something much bigger. A future where AI isn't just in the cloud, but right in your pocket. Fast, private, and personal. So today, we're going inside the neural networks, the silicon, the research labs, the acquisitions, and the agents quietly powering Apple's $2.8 trillion empire. AI made Apple's empire feel invisible, powering everything from your camera roll to your health data. So when they crossed $383 billion in revenue in 2023, it wasn't from flash, it was from frictionless design infused with AI. More than half of that came from just one product, the iPhone. And with an evaluation of near $1.83 trillion in early 2025, Apple isn't just another tech company. It's one of the most valuable entities on the planet, sometimes out-earning the annual GDP of entire countries in just one quarter. So let's start where you live, with AI in your device. Siri is the face of AI at Apple, or maybe more accurately, the voice. It's a digital assistant that was launched back in 2011, and honestly, it has some ups and downs. But behind Siri's voice is a complex stack of neural networks that run on your iPhone. It doesn't just understand speech, it acts on it. Reminders, music, smart home commands. The cool part, a lot of this happens right on your device. That on-device processing extends to the Photos app which can identify faces, scenes, and objects without sending your photos to the cloud. It builds a kind of personal, private knowledge graph from your images. And when you search Breach Trip 2022, it just works. AI is also hiding in your camp. Night Mode, Deep Fusion, Smart HDR. These are all machine learning models running behind the shutter. Face ID, that's facial recognition powered by the neural engine. And when you type, that predictive text is now powered by a transformer-based model. But the most futuristic AI feature might be the Vision Pro headset. Think spatial computing, room mapping, hand tracking, eye tracking. It's like your face and body are becoming the control. And AI is what makes that even possible. All of this isn't just about convenience. It's about building sticky, premium experiences. Experiences that help Apple drive over $383 billion in revenue in 2023, with nearly $100 billion in net income. That kind of scale, AI helps make all that possible. AI quietly turned the iPhone into a $200 billion plus juggernaut by making it smarter with every update. Siri more helpful, even your keyboard more predictive. And here's where it gets wild. It costs Apple about $500 to build a flagship iPhone, but they sell it for over $1,000. Those margins are simply massive. AirPods alone would be a Fortune 500 company, and the Apple Watch, it now out-earns every Swiss watchmaker combined. Not bad for a wrist computer that tells you when to breathe. Here's what makes Apple's approach different. It's obsessed with on-device AI. That means instead of sending your data to a distant server farm, Apple builds chips like A17 Pro or M3 with specialized neural engines that do the AI work right on your iPhone or Mac. These engines perform billions of operations per second to recognize your voice, optimize your photos, even track your sleep. The privacy implications are huge. Your voice, your photos, they never leave your phone. Apple even uses techniques like differential privacy to learn the usage pattern without collecting personal data. And when it has to go to the cloud, Apple uses something called private cloud compute, basically employing encrypted AI processing with zero logging. Under the hood, Apple is running deep learning and transformer model. Think of the autocorrect update in iOS 17. It's smarter, faster, and yes, finally, better. These models are also running things like live text, visual lookup, and even real-time dictation. For developers, Apple offers 
ScoreML, and other frameworks that let apps tap into this AI horsepower. And all of this has been optimized for battery life. And performance? That's the Apple way. Don't just make it powerful, make it invisible. This approach helps drive massive retention. Apple's ecosystem is famously sticky and the seamless AI performance plays a huge part in that. It's part of why Apple has a market cap hovering around $2.8 trillion. Apple's AI-driven ecosystem didn't just make your devices smarter. It made the company staggeringly profitable. In 2023, Apple made over $100 billion in pure profit. That's more than Google and Meta combined. It holds over $160 billion in cash and marketable securities, meaning it could just basically buy a country. Or three. And every minute, Apple clocks in about $180,000 in profit. Yes, that's per minute. Okay, so Apple's historically been secretive, but in AI, it's quietly becoming a powerhouse. Since 2016, Apple's research teams have published papers on everything from speech sentences to privacy-preserving ML. They even have their own journal and research website now. And they've hired leaders like John, formerly of Google Brain, to lead their AI strategy. One of Apple's boldest move, launching its own family of generative models under the brand Apple Intelligence. These aren't just chatbots, they're talking models that can summarize notifications, write in your own voice, help developers code faster in Xcode, among other stuff. Some models run on device, others use Apple's secure cloud. The blend, pure Apple. They've also released tools like CreateML for custom model training and open source components like AXLearn. Even their developer tools now integrate LLMs. What's wild is that all of this is being done while maintaining Apple's strict privacy policies. Their LLMs don't train on personal user data, period. This dual focus on advanced capabilities and privacy respecting implementation is Apple's version of AI. It's what supports the company's transition from product to platform. And it's another reason their services business alone now makes over $85 billion annually. AI is what fuels the engine, but Apple's IP is what's the chassis. And their brand is worth over $880 billion. Apple pours over $30 billion a year into research and development. That's not just for new phones. It's for breakthroughs in silicon, sensors, software, and AI that makes all the magic feel effortless. If you want to understand Apple's AI ambition, just follow the acquisition. Over the past decade, Apple has acquired over 25 AI startups. Siri itself came from an acquisition. They bought Vocal IQ to improve conversation, Xnor.ai for low-powered AI on the edge, and Drive.ai for autonomous vehicles. Even Shazam? That's machine learning. Many of these companies brought in talent and IP that became core to features like Face ID, Core ML, and Computational Photography. Rather than chase headlines, Apple prefers quiet absorption, folding startups into the mothership. On the partnership side, Apple is more selective. They're a founding member of the partnership on AI. They work with IBM on enterprise AI apps, and they've rumored to be collaborating with Foxconn on AI-powered manufacturing. But the big story? Apple has been building its AI empire through acquisitions. It's how they stay ahead without the hype. And that translates into long-term product advantages and financial ones too. Just think about this. Apple's R&D budget reached $30 billion last year. A lot of that is quietly building the AI future. Apple's AI-driven ecosystem didn't just make your devices smarter. It makes a ton of money. This is the part that feels like sci-fi. If you had invested $1,000 in Apple in 2000, it would be worth over $1 million today. Thanks to five stock splits and relentless growth, Apple made sure its stock stayed accessible to regular investors. While AI kept making its products indispensable, it's not just tech evolution, it's investor alchemy. Now let's talk about the future, agents. Siri is Apple's first AI agent, but it's evolving. Newer versions are context-aware, conversational, and integrated with what's on your screen. And Apple is reportedly developing a powerful LLM-based Siri to compete with chat GPT level experiences. Internally, Apple already uses generative AI agents. One example, 
Apple Ask, a tool for Apple Care employees that helps advisors answer questions using internal docs. Think of it as a support chatbot with verified knowledge. Then there's Project Titan, Apple's not so secret autonomous car program. The 2019 acquisition of Drive AI and continued road testing suggests that Apple's building an agent that can drive. Even their recycling robot Daisy is basically an AI agent, disassembling devices intelligently. And accessibility tools like voice control and assistive touch, they are AI powered agents too, helping people interact with their devices in a powerful new way. What's important here is the direction. Apple isn't just building tools, it's building assistants. Quiet agents that know your contacts, respond naturally, and get stuff done. In other words, AI that disappears into your life, but that still help you live better. AI allowed Apple to scale so efficiently that in 2022, it briefly hit a $3 trillion market cap, the first company in human history to do so. If Apple were a country, its market cap would rank it in the top five economies by GDP. And the App Store is not just an app marketplace, it's a $1.1 trillion global economy most of which comes from third-party developers building on Apple's platform. The ripple effect of AI powers tools, which is global. So yeah, Apple is building AI, but not like everyone else. They're not just chasing the biggest models. They're not just making splashy demos. They're embedding machine learning in the tiny and everyday moments that just work. Unlocking your phone, editing your photos, helping you write, keeping your data private, powering your devices locally. And in the process, they've created an AI ecosystem that's intimate, invisible, and insanely valuable. Thanks for watching. And if you want to see how other tech giants like Microsoft or Google are using AI across their platforms, check out those breakdowns next. You won't want to miss them.